Hey everyone, um, so this is the attachment piece part two. If you haven't heard part one yet, basically at the end, um, I talk about how attachment is actually a negative thing or energy or low vibration and not necessary. So I'm just gonna continue on that and give an example. Um, so for me, um, I have been prone to be attached in most of my relationships, whether it's with my mom, my dad, my family, my friends, my relationships. And it wasn't until just this year where I realized how you really don't need to be attached with anything or anybody because those those feelings of attachment or, or what you seek in another person is basically what you're missing within yourself and all you need to do is once you do the work you dig deep and realize what it is that you feel like you're missing and you're attaching yourself onto with that other person once you realize what that is and you work on it you won't need to be attached to anybody ever again so for me a quick example of attachment um, and the negative aspect of it, and actually which brought this vlog along, was um, in, the, in my past, in one of my relationships, I remember um, one of my exes telling me that I was never, I was never going to be satisfied and I was attached to money. So regardless of what I do or how I do it or how much I make, I'm always going to be striving to do more and I'm always going to be wanting more and I'll never be satisfied. And at the time when he said that, I was taken back a little bit because I didn't feel like I was that. I never felt like I was that person. But because at the time I was total with him or what I knew to be totality at the time, um, and really respected his opinion, I thought, oh, am I? Like, am I really attached? So I stepped back and I started looking at all of my stuff with money and I couldn't find anything because I've actually been quite all right all my life. I haven't been in a place except for with my business, when I opened up my business, you go through the heartaches of being an entrepreneur, and most of us do. But before that, I've always been really satisfied. At a very young age, I made really good money and money was never an issue. So I couldn't understand that. And it wasn't until it wasn't until just recently when I when I was able to completely detach myself from that life completely and reflect on all the questions and arguments and everything that I had within that relationship, it wasn't until then that I realized that those weren't my issues at all, not even for a hot second. And the reason I can say that is because well, all I ever wanted and the reason I opened up my business wasn't to strive for money. It was actually to increase health for people because from my experiences, fitness saved my life so many times. So, and even beyond that, it was for me an outlet of learning, of growth, of knowledge. And that's what I was acquiring at the time. At the time that um, I was told that I'm never going to be satisfied, at that time I had a hunger. I had a hunger for learning. And I remember I was so involved in all these different networks. I went so, I did so much networking and so much learning that year that that's when my business, I started putting together a social media strategy and and learning this is what you need for business if you want to see your numbers grow. And then I started applying it. And it was all part of the growth. And I was actually really enjoying it. But um, my ex actually saw it as, oh, she's too into this. She's never going to be satisfied. She's never going to be happy. When indeed it was the opposite. I was being satisfied from all the learning and applying it. It was giving me, making me feel like, okay, this business is going to be viable. I'm doing it. I'm doing something. I'm living my purpose. I'm learning. And that's what 
but I was attached to him. So I actually believed him and that belief became a block for me for so long. It wasn't until just um, this year, beginning of this year, when I got completely rid of that relationship and cut all ties and became free again, when all this opened, my heart space opened and all these new people started coming into my life. And, and right now I am on top of the world. I am where I need to be. I'm going where I need to go because I no longer feel like I'm attached to money or attached to people. So now in my new life, um, in my new relationships that I'm going to have and experience, um, I'm gonna come from a place of love and non-attachment because the minute I start becoming attached, I will come to realize that I need to work on something within because I don't need my partner to satisfy anything. I just need my partner to be there with me, to support me, to have the same values as me or to grow together so that we both um, can live this life of peace, prosperity together um, and elevate, sorry, and elevate the earth. So this one's getting long too, but that's, that's my take on attachment. We don't need it. I think it's a negative, low vibrating thing and toss it out the window. Do some inner work. Get rid of it. It's, it doesn't really serve anybody. Love you guys. Bye.